What's up guys, I'm Cousin Tino, and on this particular video, I'm going to teach you a card trick that is absolutely going to blow people's minds. What's up guys, I'm Cousin Tino. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're brand new, welcome along. On these particular videos, I teach you how to perform magic using everyday household items. So if you haven't subscribed, I have no idea what you're waiting for. Do that right now and turn on the notifications because these videos come to you once a week. Plus there are a heap of other videos like going behind the scenes and performances, etc, etc. With that being said, today we're going to learn an awesome card trick. So let's get started. What's up YouTube? I'm here with my niece Rosie. Rosie, say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. Okay, we're going to perform a card trick. Now be honest, you have no idea what's about to take place. No. Okay, all right, come down with me. Rosie, before we started, I made a prediction. Yeah. In the form of just one single playing card. It will stay there the entire time. I don't want to show you, okay? I don't want to spoil it. Okay. Next, I need to show you the pack of cards. I have a pack of cards, they're all different. Yeah. Yes, okay, good. And we're going to shuffle the cards. There are 52 different cards in a pack. And I want you to think of any number between one and 52. Got it. You got a number? Yeah. Okay. Tell me what that number is. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight. I want you to watch this very closely. The cards have been shuffled. I'm now going to count down eight cards. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, do you want to change your mind? No. And eight, that's the eighth card. But let me show you. You know that all the cards were completely different. Yes. Now we shuffled them. If you'd chosen a different number, you'd be on a different position and a different card. Yes. yes? But you chose eight. The eighth card is the six of diamonds. My prediction made before we started is the six of diamonds. Check that out. What? What? All right. So to perform this trick, you need a few items. What you need is a pack of cards. Go get a pack of cards. You need a duplicate card from another pack of cards. If you don't have multiple packs, what you can do is use a piece of paper and you'll need a pen. So on the piece of paper, you write down the card you want the audience member to actually select. That's the forced card. In my case, I have lots of packs of cards, so I'm going to use the duplicate card right here. Now before you go any further, if you haven't watched my previous tutorial on how to overhand shuffle the pack, go back and watch that now because you won't be able to perform the trick unless you've learnt that technique. So if you've learnt the technique, and you've got everything, grab all the items, come back here, and I'm going to share the secret with you right now. All right, the secret or the method to this particular trick. Before you start, you need to decide what card you want the audience member to select and what card you're going to predict. In my case, it's the six of diamonds. I've taken it from a completely different pack. If you don't have another pack of cards, you can write it down on a piece of paper, just like that. In my case, I have many packs of cards. I'm using this card here. So the prediction card will be placed down on the table. And you explain to the volunteer that it will stay there in full view the entire time. That's your prediction. But you don't want them to see it yet. Next, you need to go through the pack and you need to choose the matching card. In my case, the six of diamonds. That card is placed on top of the pack, on top. Okay, so you've got your prediction there. You spread the pack of cards and show them that all the cards are different because they genuinely are different cards. Being careful not to spread too wide, okay? Just like that, spread the cards out like that. Next, you need to get that top card to the bottom of the pack. How do we do this? Simple we shuffle the pack. This is called an overhand shuffle. You take the top card and you slide it into your left hand. Then you continue to slide the rest of the cards off. So, let me give you an exposed view. Top card, slid with the thumb into the left hand, the rest of the cards 
go straight on top. Okay, the shuffle will take a little bit of practice. It's here, just like that. And you slide it and shuffle it into your hands like so. Now what we've done here is, we've moved the top card to the bottom, just like that. Okay, perfect. Now you ask the volunteer for a number between one and 52, because there are 52 different cards in a pack. It doesn't matter what number they give you at all. When they give you the number, you're going to count down whatever number they've selected. So in this particular case, Rosie chose eight. So my card is on the bottom and I'm going to count down eight cards. But what I'm doing here is pushing back or moving the bottom card out of the way until I get to the number eight. Of course, the audience doesn't see that. It looks like this. I push it and I start to remove the cards. One, two, here's the expose view. Three, four, five, six, seven, and when I get to the number eight, I pull it into position. At this particular stage, I can say, do you wanna change your mind? Because once again, it doesn't matter what number they choose. Rosie said no, she wants to stick with eight, and now I remove the eighth card, and I place it over here. I show them once again that all the cards are different. Of course, I've held back the card or retained it until I get to the eighth position. This particular move is called the glide, okay? So now I turn over the card, which we know is a six of diamonds, which of course matches my prediction. And there you have it, an absolute miracle. Okay, so you know how the trick works. Now we're gonna change the camera angle and you're going to see it from my perspective. As the magician would see it, it's going to make it extremely helpful. So let's do that right now. Okay, prediction card sits here. You'll select the card that matches, sits on top, just like that. And you're gonna spread the cards out and show that they're all different. Being careful not to expose the card too much, okay? Now you're going to perform the overhand shuffle. Remember your force card is on top. The overhand shuffle looks like this. Of course, the exposed view is actually like this, just like that. That means what you're doing is you're removing the top card to the bottom. The top card is coming to the bottom. So now it's on the bottom. You ask for a number. Remember the card is there. And you're going to push back that card. And you're going to count down and remove to the number, which in this case is eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you pull the card into position on the eighth. Now remember, it's done when it's down like this. So it looks like that. That's eight. That's the card, okay? You place that over here. You put the cards together, and you spread them one last time to show that they're all different. Of course, you know that your card matches, the prediction 100%. Make sure you practice it over and over again. Practice in front of the mirror, practice by watching yourself on film, and then you're going to have a brilliant trick down pat where you're going to blow people's minds. With that being said, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. Turn on the notifications, and I'll see you next Wednesday at another Teach a Trick.